Hey guys, welcome back to Creative Java Programming. In today's video, we are going to talk about how we can download and install the latest version of IntelliJ IDEA. So let's see. So open your favorite browser. Here you need to only type download IntelliJ IDEA. Right? Hit on enter. Here you will see the official website getbrains.com right click on that here you can see IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate right I am not going to install this IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate why because it is only 330 day trial only right so I am going to install the latest version of IntelliJ IDEA that is 2024.3.1 so here, here is another edition, right? IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. This, this is going, I am going to install in my system, right? So how we can install it? We need to just only click on download button, right? For if you are using Linux, right? Then you need to download another version, right? But this is for Windows, right? Here from Linux, you can install from Linux or Mac OS, this is right. So I am using Windows, so that's why I will download this version, right? IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition for Windows. So just click on download button, right? Click on that. Here, here, it's giving me message. Thank you for downloading IntelliJ IDEA. Right now, here you can see downloading is started. Right. So, so let's see our download is completed or not. Here you can see our download is going to complete. Right. Let's here our download is completed. Right. So click on here. You can see IntelliJ IDEA exe file is downloaded. So copy that one, right? And uh, go to your any your drive. So let's see. I am going to D drive, and here I am going to create a folder. IntelliJ IDEA latest version, right? Right click and paste it here, right? So this is an exe file. So uh, for to Installing exe file, just double click on that and next, 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 and finish. That is very easy process, right? To installing any exe file. So, minimize all window here. Just click on next button. Here it's asking pagination folder where you want to install this, right? IntelliJ idea. So, I am going to install in my D drive. So how we can install? Let's see. Select this PC and uh, go to D drive. And here I'm going to create a new folder. Make new folder, right? So keep folder name IntelliJ IDEA, right? New version, right? Folder is created. Select that folder. Click on OK. And after clicking OK, click on Next button. Right. And here you can create desktop icon. Right. Update path variable. Right. Added open folder as project. Create association dot Java. Right. Click on Next button and install it by default right so here you can see installing is started right now you can see our installation is completed right so it's asking to reboot or you want to reboot later so i want to reboot reboot later right so click on finish button our desktop icon is created right so 
double click on that here you can see intellij idea community 2024.3 right so if you want to import you can import but for now i am going to skip right so click on skip import right here you can see our welcome page so let's see how to create a new java project in intellij idea right so here you can see there is a plus icon and written here new project so click on that so give project name like java underscore app underscore one right so this is my project name where you want to save your project right so click on here this browse icons right and uh, in d drive i want to store my project so in d drive i will create a new folder so here you can see there is a plus icon new directory so click on that and give a folder name my java projects right click on ok button select my java project and ok right build system intellij idea right added sample code no and here you can see jdk oracle open jdk right i have already downloaded right so it's detected but if you don't have a download then you need to download how here you can see download oracle open jdk 23.0.1 so just you need to click on this button and jdk 23 will be download and installed right so here i have already downloaded right so i am going to select that one or if you are if you want to use another version like jdk 17 jdk 1.8 so according to your need you can select your jdk right so i am going to use jdk 23 right so click on create button external library you can see jdk 23 right so once project is created right where we will go we will go to src folder and we will create first a package what do you mean by package package is nothing but it is a folder that is used to store a program in an organized manner so give project name like i am giving project name in as p1 right and after creating project we will create a java class right so give class name like i am giving class name a right select class and hit on enter now you can see class is created now let's see how to create main method type ma hit on enter main method is created right so how to create system dot out dot print -len method i'm not going to type it i will use a shortcut that is s o u t sound right and hit on enter here you can see system dot out dot print -len method is created so let's pass the message welcome to creative java programming right now program is created now how we can run this program so here you can see current file and there is a icon run a dot java file right so click on that now here you can see our program output right welcome to creative java programming right so that's all guys in today's session thanks for watching bye bye take care